Hello and welcome back to the Hughes Enterprises channel. We're having a stereotypical Washington day today, nice and rainy and cloudy, and I really don't feel like getting wet today, so rather than do a shooting video, I know it's been a very long time since I put out a video, but I figure I have the time, I'm going to bring out one of the guns from my collection to show you. And this is going to be about Smith & Wesson revolvers. And when people collect Smith & Wesson revolvers, especially when they're collecting them for investment purposes, you always want to see a revolver with the original box, if possible. And these original boxes usually come in two forms. You can either have the blue Smith & Wesson box that'll say revolver all over it, or for older guns, it'll be a blue cardboard box with metal corners. Or, you'll typically see the Smith & Wesson revolvers in a blue display case. But, very rarely do you see the third type of Smith & Wesson box. And that's the one you see in front of you. And the way we know this is a Smith & Wesson box is because this box actually has the serial number on it. This is the original shipping box for Smith & Wesson model 629 no dash 44 Magnum with a 4 inch barrel. And what this gun is, is a time capsule from 1980. This is a brand new in box, never fired, Smith & Wesson 629 no dash. I just have to extract it here with one hand, and you'll see inside of the shipping box is a rather nondescript blue Smith & Wesson box. There is no serial number anywhere on here. It doesn't say Smith & Wesson anywhere on here, and that is correct for guns that came in both the blue box and a wood display case. Let's go ahead and pop the lid off here. And there she is. And I've opened up the cylinder on this revolver before, and it has three factory test-fired rounds through it. That is it. And that is a beautiful, very rare revolver. It was only made for one year in 1980 in the four-inch barrel length, and somewhere around 1,000 guns were produced. And this is the most desirable Smith & Wesson 629 revolver. It's also the only 4-inch barrel 629 with a pin barrel and recessed cylinder. So, very cool. Very happy to have this gun in my collection. And you can see, it comes with all the accoutrements from the factory. You got cleaning kit, manual, uh, holster, advertisements, all of your warnings and whatnot. But we can continue digging into this cardboard box and find the origin of the other Smith & Wesson box, the wood display case. So all these guns that you see advertised online that come with the original box, and the original box is the wood display case, well those display case guns actually came in this serial numbered box and you'll hardly ever find this. And sadly, this wood display case has seen better days. The foam has dried out and deteriorated, but it is, it's there, you know, it's an original box. So a very interesting look at old Smith & Wesson revolvers, classic Smith & Wesson revolvers, and the three types of boxes that you should expect when you're looking for investment grade revolvers. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing.